Hey gang, it is Maria from goalietrainingpro.com joined again with my homie Peter Martin from Pro Skate Goal in Calgary. He was actually just helping out a couple of the goalies in the goalie workout formula, get their new true skates all set up. But uh, today we are not talking about skates. Today we are talking about the chesty, which is, uh, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm on this. It's like the holy grail of equipment to me. It's like finding that chesty that gives the protection so I'm not getting the stingers but that I can still actually put on a jersey and drink out of my water bottle and I so I'm excited to see what you got we're going to start with some Bowers right yeah we're going to start with some Bowers Bauer released uh, a new line of pro uh, chest pads this year the uh, Hyperlite and it's been uh, thus far since the launch uh, in late May it's been really well received uh, customers definitely are are they have their two models they have their the hyperlight and the ultrasonic and and there's you know camps uh in each that prefer one over the other and and uh this year the hyperlight's been no different it's been uh it's been a it, it's been a very good seller we're pretty pleased with it thus far yeah i actually snuck down to the local hockey shop and tried one on and it felt pretty nice yeah yeah <laughs> it yeah it's pretty, pretty nice. nice it's um you know, it's a pretty cool unit. I have one here, one of our uh, stock ones. We just uh, brought this one in the stock colors. It's 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 an attractive color. Uh, it doesn't look bad under the jersey with the black and gray and the uh, and the kind of lime green uh, three vapor stripes on it. it shows the family uh, resemblance to the gold pads and whatnot. So it is. It's a great uh, it's a great piece. So you can see right away how it differs uh, compared to the ultrasonic, for example. Um, you see it has the traditional uh, elbow floaters here uh, versus versus the uh, ultrasonic arm. And we'll go over that a little bit more in depth when we talk about uh, the custom NHL one that we've uh, that we've built too. So so this unit is, is fantastic. The adjustability, honestly, with this with this chest pad is second to none. They you know they have uh, Velcro adjustments to adjust the length on the arms. They have three removable pieces that's kind of been uh, you know, all the way back to the iTech days. And of course, iTech was absorbed or purchased by Bauer. They've continued that great feature through. So, you know, as you're, you can actually size this one down or even their elite model, you can, you know, if you're a size medium, you might be able to get into a large and, and, and with all the adjustments in it to size it down, to actually make it fit you, to give you a better chance of expanding uh, that unit as you grow. So, you know, having those three pieces removable, maybe right off the hop for somebody uh, that was able to make it as small as possible, and then you can put them back on and extend it. Uh, or you might take them out if you tuck your chest pad in. It's, you know, it's a, it's a viable option. So there's lots of things there with this one that, that you can do. So a lot of cool things. It does have the rounded uh, forearm, not the squared off forearm. So it makes it really easy for glove rotation when you're, when you're inside your glove. Um, and the great thing is, Maria, about this is you have virtually three levels of, of shoulder cap protection. You'll have uh, the outside uh, main shoulder floater. You'll have a more uh, uh, shaped uh, shoulder cap one with, uh, with, a, with segmented uh, movability here. And then the third one underneath here is just another shoulder extension so that when you do extend the arms down, uh, there's no gaps in here that, that that arise from moving the shoulder down because obviously you're moving the bicep, the arm and everything down. This is there to prevent, you know, a little gap uh, in protection opening up. So overall, uh, really comfy unit and it has all the tech that everybody would expect out of, uh, out of a Bauer high-end high end piece uh, with a curved composite. And you can see actually the curved composite in the outside elbow protection. I don't know if you can see that right there. Curved yeah, I composite. see that. Right. So, you know, that's always great to have on the outside of the elbow because a lot of times when you're with the, with the style going back again to more using your arms rotating up uh, to stop those high shots, consequently what happens is you're rotating up and you're making some saves with the outside of your arm. So it's nice to have that curved composite on the outside. Just add that little bit of protection to that outside because everybody sits their elbow on a, on a door frame when you're walking. I was going to say, it looks like you need a little more protection on your elbow again. Exactly. You got a band-aid so on there right that. 
had a little wipeout on the bike riding to work the other day. Got got a little crazy, so but I'm good. <laughs> oh, um, so 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 I mean, yeah, this is this is an awesome unit, and the protection on it's the the protection on it's great. Uh, the belly blocks have been reinforced uh, and improved over the uh, previous model. And and there, there is a cool piece in here, and it's it's tough to see, but it allows for ventilation. As you can see it here, how this piece is actually separated yeah. uh, from the chest. And this is a vented area here that allows the heat uh, to release. So, you know, uh, it's going to help keep you cool in the, in the hot moments, obviously. So, again, tons of adjustability here on the back that, that allows you to pull the shoulder floaters up to give you a more contoured feel and fit on the shoulders. And beyond that, there's another one here that allows you to, this should shape over your shoulders really nice and, and stop the unit, the weight of the unit from falling down and having this piece here get you in the back of the neck. So, so you know, they've, the redesign they've done, I think was really well thought out. Um, and of course the days of having the big Garth Snow, you know, where he used yeah. to, stick his chest pad up like that and fill it with foam or however he did it. Those days are gone now. Uh, from the NHL down, it's, it's trickled down to a more contoured fit. Uh, maybe not as contoured to the body as the uh, ultrasonic is. This is still going to be the, the vapor that's a little bit, I don't want to say bigger and bulkier because it's, it's really not. It just, just gives you a different fit, fills the jersey out a little bit more but not like the old days, like I said, with the Garth Snow type chest pads. That's not happening anymore. The contoured fit allows for easy head rotation um, and, and doesn't interfere too much with the, with, your, with the bottom of your mask. So overall, I think a really well thought out unit from, from, from Bauer. I, I, I really like what they've done and the materials they've used. I think it's a well thought out, well thought out piece. Yeah, I think the thing I really liked about it um, when I slid it on was that the sleeves are almost are like sleeves like it's not so I'm in a warrior and and the elbow pads are kind of held in place by you know um bungee straps and yeah. and so you kind of but this like it's it's actually like a sleeve that holds the elbow protection in place and I just feel like it yeah like I just feel like okay it's on me now it, it's not yeah. sliding around so I really like that um, and it also has a strap and a little Velcro strap in the back. So if you, if you, I like, I hate my chesty riding up at all. So I'm, I'm seeing that and I'm thinking, Ooh, I could just put that through the loop in my pants and that would be the end of the chesty riding That's up. That's right. You're right. It does keep the weight down. And of course, if you get into a mixer on the ice, cause I know you get in a lot of disagreement totally on the do. Ice and start, start yeah. talking them. It's good. Nobody can pull it up over your head. Exactly. So that's good. Yeah, that's important for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I agree. That dynamic flex elbow too would allow you to yeah. come oh, across yeah. a lot quicker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pointing, I got yeah. some Gordy Howe elbows underneath here too. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't doubt it at all. <laughs> um, tell, can you just tell us more, or like, even if you have it there, I don't know if you're allowed to show it to us, but like you said, you had like an NHL like pro spec one. Like, can you kind yeah. of walk us through that? So the great thing about Bauer is uh, their their customization that they allow you to do is is awesome and and every year we have um, we have a basically an NHL protection package chest pad in the store. Uh, historically, we've you know we we did a Vaughn one for a number of years. We did a CCM one for a number of years. This year we decided to change it up and uh, because the piece we were starting with was so awesome. Uh, and talking with Bauer, we wanted to uh, just make it a little bit beefier. I think my my clientele has come to expect that from us in the store. Uh, so we wanted to continue that tradition. And, and this year we did it with the new Bauer Vapor chest pad. So so what we did, uh, aside from the obvious color change we did, we just made this one in a standard navy with silver stripes on it. A uh, couple noticeable things. Uh, the shoulder floaters here have been beefed up uh, uh, considerably just to offer, we just want the guys to be able to go out there and, and not be concerned about uh, taking a shot that's going to, I mean, yes, I mean, everybody knows in goaltending, you can always, the puck's always going to find a way through and 
and get you one way or another sometimes, right? We want to reduce that chance of happening even more. So because we stopped so many shots with our upper body nowadays, we wanted this one to be, you know, quote unquote bulletproof, of course. So, so shoulder floor has been beefed up dramatically uh, on this unit. We've also beefed up the uh, forearm and bicep on it. Um, but the one big thing we did was made the change to an ultrasonic arm. So on this one, we did, we took the arms off uh, the standard uh, vapor unit and, and we put the ultrasonic arms on it. Uh, we just found last year, we had so many, so many guys came into our store and would put the ultrasonic unit on and go, wow, like I could scratch my back with this, like right off the hanger. Guys were saying the mobility was just off the charts. And, you know, when you get, when you get an, uh, a piece of equipment in the store and you get that feedback from clientele that they're telling you, wow, it's just, I've never felt a chest pad like this. We noticed that just the mobility in the arms really helped the sale of the unit as a whole. So, so, you know, we discussed it here in the store with the staff and, and um, when I, when I said, you know, Hey, this is an option. Maybe this is something we should build into the chest pad. Um, the staff was unanimous and they said, yeah, you know what? We think that that would be a, a, a real, real good offering on it. So, so, you know, while we thought that it was great as was, we thought it could still be beefed up a little bit. So what we did was the entire arm is beefed up, um, considerably more protection throughout forearm and bicep, and of course the mobility. I mean, I'm, that's like effortless. That is an effortless move. So, you know, curve composite, still there. So Bowers, you know, they haven't, they haven't given you any, any room for error here. So I really like the extended tricep molded piece as well. So that, you know, when you're going and sometimes you just catch the finger on the back of the arm, uh, just enough to take it off, you know, over the net, of course, because we yeah. don't allow that to happen. But no, it's been extended. And again, like the elbow fit you were talking about is still there. So you have easy Velcro closure. And of course you have this little uh, uh, segmented flap that protects the back of your arm. What's that bone called there, Maria? This your, one. Uh, ulna, your, your ulna is on the outside, your radius is on the inside. There you go. So every goalie has had a puck off of one of those two bones and that hurts like heck. So that little flexible piece there, it doesn't look like much, but I'm telling you, it's great. It fits inside the glove nicely. Doesn't slow the rotation of your glove down at all. And it's just a nice, just a nice addition to this chest pad. So, I mean, this was the one that we wanted to get done right every year. Um, of course, it does does carry a premium price on it as well. It's a hundred dollars more than the than the standard uh, unit, but we've virtually we've had no complaints about it. People people see what you're getting uh, for the money, uh, and it's been this is right now our top seller in the store, hands down. So, you know, all the other features, the adjustability. Uh, the arm, the arm shortening or lengthening is still all there. Uh, the ability to pull the shoulder floaters and have them contour to the shoulders, all still there. Everything's still there. Maria's, yeah. Maria's goon strap is still there. Yeah, it's yeah. still there. So Perfect. no, it's a really nice unit. They've done a great job on it for us. Uh, we're very thankful that they that they've allowed us to do that uh, in the quantities we did for the store and. And of course, that's available to any customer comes in. You can come in, customize your own Bauer chest pad, uh, pick your colors. Uh, if you're a long, long abdomen, short arms, you can mix and match the size of the uh, chest versus the arms. So lots of options there. Color it up like you want, um, protect it like you want, and uh, Bauer, Bauer is happy to do it for you. That's super cool. And and like yeah, such a good cool. idea to go with the arms because honestly, yeah, like I know it's the protection on the ice that matters. And I know when you're on the yeah. ice making saves, you're not like reaching up. But yeah, like if I, uh, yeah, I will try on a chest protector, go like this, go like this, go like this. And if I can't, if I feel like, <laughs> then it's yeah. like, no, no, I don't like, you know, and, and so that's really, really smart. Now, it is. For the non-big wheels, such as myself, that may that definitely don't need that level of protection. We're not cheap. Let me make no. it clear. We're not cheap. <laughs> just don't need that level of protection. That's right. Uh, so what does what does Bauer have, or what would you suggest uh, in the Bauer line? Yeah. So Bauer has 
their elite line now. Uh, the elite line came out uh, in 20 last year, uh, and it was honestly we couldn't keep them on the shelves. Uh, this unit uh, it's available in in senior and intermediate, and it's honestly it's sold just like crazy. It's it's been so well received, and so it has a lot of the same features. It does have still the three removable pieces here, the core extension they call it. Uh, it still has uh, the 3D flex arms on it. It has all the adjustability again in the neck uh, and shoulder area that we talked about. It still has the strap to attach to your pants to take that weight off the back of your neck if that's what you want. Uh, it has straps to keep your suspenders oh, cool. centered on your shoulder floaters so that it doesn't either slide off or slide onto the inside. A lot of guys complain suspenders slide into the inside and kind of rub on their neck. So they have that strap, you'd put it on, carry it through, and then seal it off with that, right? So this has been this has been a great seller for us. The intermediate one uh, has sold just fabulously. Um, like, honestly, uh, I know it sounds cliche, but we can't keep them on the shelves. You know, every time, every time we order some up, it just seems that people just gravitate to this chest pad. Parents really like the adjustability of it. Of course, if you can get, you know, two years out of a chest pad instead of one year because some chest pad might not uh, may lack the adjustability of this one parents are gonna they're gonna gravitate to this one so i mean and from a protection standpoint it's fantastic and like you said mobility there's nothing better than than an athlete coming into the store and trying something on and feel like they can do all those moves that you said i mean rarely in a game does it happen where you're going to reach behind your head or but that's what that's what guys are trying or kids are trying when they come into the store. They want it to feel like that old t-shirt that's been worn, you know, a thousand times and been through the wash and everything like that. That's what they want. People are getting more demanding now of feel off the shelf. They, they want to be able to feel that they could buy it, go right to practice, get used to it after half an hour and then be happy with their purchase. So, you know, five or six years ago, you couldn't do that with every chest pad on the wall. Right. So the manufacturers are getting smarter in how they're building the units to have uh, absolute increased mobility right off the hangar. And I think Bauer's done a really good job, but not just Bauer, but everybody has, I think. Uh, but every year, every two years, there, there are certain models uh, of equipment that really just seem to grab everybody's attention. For me, this one here in the intermediate line has just been unreal been a very good seller and i you know i think props to bauer for doing such a good job designing this piece and the great thing is from a retailer standpoint too this is going to have a three-year shelf life so it's not going to disappear after two years uh, which was the older cycle um, so you're going to have something for three years on the shelf now and it's not going to get you know dirty and dusty after after two years when it enters that third year i think it's still going to be an awesome unit i don't I don't see that changing. So like, uh, you know, and, and you see it in the dressing room, goalies are goalies. We talk with each other, you know, Hey man, how are those packs? How's that glove? How's the chesty guys are always talking together and we're finding that people are coming in now and going, Oh, Hey, yeah, look at that's the one, you know, my partner has there really likes it. Can I try that on? Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, from a, from a salesperson standpoint, it's great when that kind of, when that kind of thing happens, because, uh, you know, it, it makes our job a lot easier too. Yeah, totally. Word of mouth is the key. Um, Word of mouth. what, uh, what's like, what's CCM doing in that regard? Anything changed there? I'm not, uh, I'm a little clueless. Yeah, they, I knew about CCM the new made, powers, but yeah, CCM made some, made some changes to their Eflex five line this year. Um, the one cool thing they did was call it Eflex five because their chest pads were always a couple <laughs> numbers behind we had the eflex four pads last year with eflex two chest pad didn't yeah. so now they've they skipped a couple numbers and made an eflex five so the continuity with the model number is there now um so you know in the past last like i said the last uh how many years i don't know three years i think we've done a nhl version of the ccm eflex chest pad we thought it was time for a change this year so this year now we have uh the standard ccm unit uh to me the one big change that they did do, uh, they've always had the D3O in the sternum, but this year they've expanded it through and widened it out to the collarbone area. 
So now instead of just having your sternum well, well protected with the D3O, they've moved that to the sternum area. So the D3O, what the D3O is, is uh, the molecular structure of the D3O is such that when something hits it with velocity, the molecular structure comes together and, and absorbs the energy. So it's not a reflective uh, property, it's, it's an absorbing property. So consequently, yeah, it's gonna protect you against those ones, you know, the direct onto the collarbone shots or sometimes what happens is you get a shot off the chin of your mouth that deflects it down. And you always wonder, how did I get hit there? Like, yeah. it makes no sense, right? So, so they've, they've, they've fixed that for us. So now when you're getting shots in this area here, which we all do get, um, you know, the DTO is there to help absorb that energy and reduce the, you know, reduce the chance of, of collarbone injury because getting hit again, on, on the clavicle is, is zero fun. So to me, that would be the one big, huge uh, protection change from, from CCM on this. Uh, the adjustability that they built into this unit when uh, four years ago when this version came out is still there. They they really did this good in that, again, to, re to remove the weight from the back of your neck. They increased the length of this one piece. So you can see how much Velcro adjustment there is there. And so that's the profile it takes on your shoulder now. So it's been, I think they have the best, the best, uh, the best way of keeping this, the weight on your shoulders, kind of like a yoke for your, for the horse, right? It just sits there really nicely. It has a little pocket that it tucks into so it doesn't move onto your neck. And then a Velcro is really, and the Velcro they use is great. So, um, but you know, like anything, you can over adjust that. You have to find the right balance between height here, length in your sternum. And if you make this and pull this too high, consequently, what happens is that hole gets so small you can't pull your head out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. We, we've seen that in the store. Guys go, oh yeah, I like that up here in the collarbone. I'm well protected, but then they can't get it off. <laughs> so you end up having to rip this off every time and nobody wants to do that. So it's, yeah. you know, you're going to have to find that adjustment that, that fits just properly. Again, nice segmented shoulder floaters. So they're going to follow the contour of your shoulders and sit down nice. Um, the segmented shoulder piece in behind here is great. Uh, they're also, it's elasticized here. So when you do have to come, to the middle to corral a rebound. These shoulder floaters move very easily. Oh, okay. So they're they're carved out here to give you that nice little room to move your arms in. So, and consequently yeah. they move really nicely. So you know nobody's going to complain about not being able to get their arms to center to corral that rebound. So you know that in combination with the D3O absorbing the energy, uh, the skill the kids have through all the great goalie training places we have available to us here in the city of Calgary. They're learning. Uh, you know, how to maximize uh, controlling the rebound and not letting it pop out. So, you know, this unit is, is really good for that. So I think, you know, uh, the new graphics were exciting this year. I, I think it's a good looking standard unit. looks good hanging oh, on, yeah. the shelf on the wall. Yeah, it's exactly. really good. And of course, you know, again, liberal use of breathable materials. So again, designed with the air net to keep that, uh, keep you ventilated, keep you cooler during the games. And uh, so to me, great, great, a great item. I guess one thing I should point out here is kind of a cool piece. So this white piece that's on the inside, it's removable, but what it is, is just an added rib, rib, rib package that allows, allows your arms. So when you're in your stance, your arms aren't going to fold all the way into your body. So this, they've managed to puff out this area a little bit. So your arms don't fall down to the side so much here. They actually stop about here. So consequently, making us a little wider. Yeah. You know, taking up just a just a little bit more net. If you're not cheating, you're not trying, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. No, that's actually like really because sometimes too, it just feels like yeah. Awkward. Yeah, and you've got it's quicker to close, right? Yeah. It's just filling that little bit of an area. It's quicker to close. So I mean, that's great. Uh, you know, that was something actually back in the day. We used to add those into the chest pads for guys, but you know, like anything, guys would get carried away. You have it billowing out the ear so that your arms would stop here. And I mean, I've even heard stories. I don't want to say it was number 33 for the Montreal Canadiens, but it might have been. 
I heard that he even had his pants extended so that he oh. came like up this high and they filled his hole. His arms didn't fall down ever. So exactly. I'm not saying that's why he was good. I'm just saying. Yeah. No, just just saying. Yeah. Uh, so that that, that leads to the next question. What do you, what are your thoughts on the picture of uh, Carrie Price and Vassy there in their chest in their chesties? Which one? Did you see the one from the after the Stanley Cup? No, I did not. Guy, are you Sorry. kidding me? So after the final and they're they're like shaking hands or whatever, and Carrie Price looks about this big and Vassy looks about that big. No way, I did not see that. Okay, no. I'll send I'll send it to you. I'll find a copy send and I'll send me. it to you. Yeah, I'm interested. Oh, darn, yeah, like, and so people were like, "Oh, it's just the angle," and it's like, "Well, his head isn't four times bigger than Carrie's." <laughs> like, it was. Yeah, you know, I was, don't know. I mean, again, you know, I mean, all those. All that stuff is controlled by Kay Whitmore, you know, I mean, uh, he has to sign off on the size of their chest pads. So, you know, I, I don't know. And I know that manufacturers have struggled with the new arm, chest and arm regulations for sure, that everybody will have something approved. And I've heard this from guys, they've like, ours is approved and theirs is approved, but everybody's buying that one because it looks way bigger. Yeah. So how can they both be approved? So there was a lot of, I know there was a lot of uh, consternation there for the manufacturers when this chest pad thing came out. So I don't know if that's, I mean, Vasilevsky, from everything I've been told, he's not wearing our unit, but he's wearing the, a yeah. version of that. Yeah. So, okay. so, yeah. There we go. I'll send you a picture. You let me know what you think. Yeah, I did um, not see that one. I don't spend Did, enough time. Uh, with you, you said Brian's had Brian's was doing something, weren't yeah. they? You have a Brian's yeah. one you want to show? Brian's is doing Brian's doing is doing something exciting too. Um, so for a while now I've asked, you know, every year when we, you talk with the manufacturers and and they ask you how are things going, you know, is there anything uh, you think we're missing or that we could add? And I've always said, you know, it was great. Uh, when Vaughn made an intermediate pro made in Canada chest pad, it always sold really well. People wanted that protection, whether it was uh, the elite female athlete that couldn't, you know, wear even a senior small, for example, and they didn't feel like they got enough protection in the second price point. So I've said this for several years now to different manufacturers and, you know, for whatever reasoning it, it hasn't happened yet I, I i do believe it will happen um but brian just kind of stepped up and and uh and answered the answered the bell there they've come out with sorry it fell down off the bench <laughs> brian just come out with the new oh sharp optic two intermediate chest pad so this is a scaled down version of their optic two pro so made in Canada comes in at the same price point as the senior pro chest pads, but it's, it's awesome. Uh, so offers all the same great features. It does have the adjustable neck protection, uh, combination, uh, sternum protection. So it's, uh, in almost infinitely adjustable here. You can actually see this one is pulled up a little bit, uh, for a customer that was trying it on the other day, they pulled it up and allows you without having to pull the entire body up, it allows you just to just to move this one piece. So consequently, you're not really changing the size of the, the neck hole here. Um, and that's been a popular addition. It's been on their pro chest pads now, I'd say probably for about five or six years. So they, they've put it into this model, obviously. Um, again, the adjustability and the neck is virtually the same as yeah. the CCM version. Uh, has a little pocket that it tucked into. Velcro goes back there. And then you also have Velcro adjustability to create that contoured shoulder fit. So, so you know, this this has been great. It comes in two sizes, uh, small, medium, large, extra large. Um, this has been a great sell for even, I think the small, the small we've even had some success at uh, the second year PV level. So 12 going on to 13 year old kids have been able to get into that. Mom and dad feel like they're really well protected. It's made in Canada. Brian's quality and commitment to excellence is, is second to none. So 
you know, this, this chest pad is, uh, for me, been a real popular addition to the store this year. We received our custom ones uh, in May, and this is the last one. We sold through all of them. This is the last one hanging on the shelves right now. Wow. So we're pretty pleased with it. And like I said, it has all the same features. It has the smart strap closure system. So, you know, if you're that guy that just puts your arms up and jumps into it every day, um, you never have to undo the Velcro. It just stays where it is. But if you're that guy that comes in and out of it by opening the chest out, obviously just one, two, yeah. easy pulls off the tabs and, and you're out of this unit really good. So, no, this has been great. And the other thing I like too is that it does have you see it's it's smaller from the from the senior one um but it does have an extended rib wrap here and, and the great thing about this an extended rib wrap is a thing we're starting to see on almost every model of chest pad now the great part is is that now when we're in the vh and you're doing a shoulder lean you know as much as we're learning in goaltending how to stop the puck shooters are learning you know hey when they're doing a shoulder lean, if the guy doesn't have his glove or his catcher in the right place on either side, there's going to be a gap between the, the ribs <laughs> and the post. So consequently, guys are trying to stick it in, bounce it in off your abdomen into the net. So again, we're talking about whether you get a hit here on the back of your forearm, on your elbow, off the ribs. It's hidden areas covered by flesh, and that's about it. So, you know, that they're extending the rib protection just shows that they're learning and they're evolving with the changes in the game that are happening uh, on a daily basis for sure. That's unbelievable. Thank you again, yeah, Peter. I, uh, yeah. Like I, I just, yeah, I love chatting with you about this because yeah, you go through everything that is important and, and matters and you hit on it all. So that's super valuable because it's hard. Yeah. Like it's hard to know what the difference is and the difference in materials and what might be right for this goalie versus that goalie. I think you do a great job explaining that. Um, so we will definitely do another one. What do, you, what do you think we should talk about next time, maybe? Oh, I think next time it's skates. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. we're going to go over the skates next uh Next, uh, whenever it is, whenever we chat again, Maria, we'll talk about skates. There, are, there is one new skate in particular right now that is blowing up, and it. Uh, let's just say it's from a new brand to the market. Uh, it's it's blowing up. We cannot. I've already reordered skates. It's selling like hotcakes. Uh, approval is we're batting a thousand on it. It's it's unreal. So the new skate from True, I'll say it, is uh, the new TF9 is is awesome and uh, i think that'll be one we'll touch upon next week as well as the new offerings from uh from bauer and the two custom ones from true we'll go over those and and uh there's some exciting stuff coming on in the market for sure in skates yeah that would be great actually because i like people ask me and i don't know i tell them to go follow you but um you know like what should i go one piece or two piece true and i was like i have no idea so we will chat about that the next yeah. time as well um 100%. As always, I thank you so much for your time, your generosity with your expertise. Um, Pro Skate Goal in Calgary, you give give uh, Peter a follow at Pro Skate Goal on Instagram. Bang on. And uh, we'll catch you next time. We'll talk skates. Thanks, Maria. Good as Cheers. always. Have a good day. You too.